Hello and welcome to the Blue Abroad official VFL match report. I'm Paul Sebastiani and uh, well, a very, very, very disappointing loss for the uh, Carlton Reserves team today. They went down 6 10 46 to 19 15 129 against the Box Hill Hawks. In, uh, yeah, it was an abomination from pretty much start to finish, unfortunately. Uh, very, very disappointing result. Defensively, uh, absolutely horrific. Um, and after, after quarter time, it was um, pretty much a, uh, a garbage effort from, uh, from the boys out there. A few, few boys didn't play, um, unfortunately. Um, Durden and Dow missed out. Durden missed out with a, um, a hamstring strain prior to the game being played. So that, um, that was disappointing. Apparently he did that in the warm up and Dow, Dow was, um, was, not, um, was not seen out there, which is uh, disappointing as well. So um, yeah, structurally very poor. Defensive application was poor all day. Um, and moving the ball forward, I thought we were poor as well. Um, we didn't really have too, too many answers for Box Hill's tours as well. So um, yeah, overall a, a poor performance, and now the boys sit at two and three with the trip up to up to Sydney next week. But from an individual point of view, um, everybody will probably want to know how Brody Kemp went. Uh, good return by him. He had 17 touches in his return to to football action from uh, from that ACL and then that ankle injury he copped in the preseason. So um, probably needs another month, I'd say, before he's um, before he's pushing his case for a spot. In the, in the senior team, but he looks to be um, a, a level above uh, above VFL um, at the moment, I would say. So positive signs for him, and he returned unscathed, which is which is probably the big thing. And he played out a full game, obviously on managed minutes, but um, he was there right at the end of the game as well. Uh, Matt Kennedy just continues to plug away. 28 touches, 13 marks, probably not a game that would really bring him back into the senior side. Sam Ramsey as well uh, was good, battled away all day, 23 touches and three tackles. He's progressing nicely. Uh, Tom Williamson was probably the pick of the defenders today, I'd say. 22 disposals and seven marks and defended well all day. Provided good run and carry off half back um, and was probably a shining light with Brody Kemp down in that back line in a, um, a back six and a midfield group that were very, very well beaten on the day, unfortunately. Um, O'Brien, 21 disposals. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this kid at the moment, but um, as a top 10 pink, he'd probably want to be producing a little bit more than what he is at the moment. Um, he's another one that he's not really bashing the door down at the moment, so disappointing for him. Jack Nunes, only the 20 touches as well. Um, and the other guy that we probably want to make mention of is um, SPS, Sam Petrescu. seat. look, um, very poor game from him, I think. Uh, his tackle numbers were right up, but he only had 13 touches. He had 10 tackles for the day, so it was sort of a similar game to what Setterfield played when he came back for his first game in the reserves a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, the lack of intensity from this kid out there today was uh, pretty disappointing, I'd say so. I don't know if these rumours about him venturing off to WA are gonna bear fruit towards the end of the year, but he looks like he is probably well and truly checked out, I think, which which is disappointing, I'd say, for, on his behalf too. He lacks the intensity to, to really make much of an influence at AFL level, I think, at the moment. And look, yeah, uh, he's not going to be coming in back into the side off a game like that, unfortunately. Um, Parks lost a heap of one-on-one -on -one battles in the first half and battled well back after half-time. But um, yeah, you can see why he sort of come back into the reserves. Uh, yeah, probably not, not his best game, but Hopefully he can just continue to work on something. Obviously the club see something with him if he was given that sort of month block to play. And he did look okay until that game against Melbourne last week, but um, yeah, he'd want to be doing a little bit more. Josh Honey as well, probably the pick of the forwards. Had two goals and 11 touches, but just no service all day for him, unfortunately. Um, I, th I think he'll actually benefit from coming into the AFL side. Um, he's got the speed and he's got the ability and he's got the talent to be able to come into the team, I think. Uh, he's probably the only player alongside maybe a maybe a Kemp who will be pushing into the side and potentially a dirt and when he gets back onto the onto the field after that hamstring strain. But yeah, I, I can't really see anyone coming in from the side this week. And Jack Carroll again, um, he's a long, long, long way off the pace um, after coming back from that broken thumb. I think he only ended up with five touches on the day and uh, yeah, he looks uh, he looks a little bit lost out there at the moment. So look, obviously it's only a second game at VFL level, but um, he want to be doing a little bit more to to get into the um, a, well to, to get into VFL form, let alone AFL form. Um, so yeah, disappointing day for the boys today. Um, 
I highly, highly doubt anybody from this team will be coming up into the senior side this week, especially given a given a win for the AFL boys over the weekend as well. So, um, yeah, um, poor day, but hopefully they can bounce back next week. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe on the Blue Broad page. Follow the um, follow me on Twitter as well at Paul Seb. Oh five. Um, sorry for the Dow report today, but um, it was a, for lack of a better phrase, it was a bit of a shit show by the boys today, unfortunately. So hopefully they can bounce back next week in Sydney. Um, that's all for now. And as I said, like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Paul Seb Oh five. We'll be back to do it all again from Sydney next week. Bye for now.